Amy Danino, Drum Talk TV. We are here at the NAMM Show 2020. And as you can see, we're at the Istanbul Symbol Booth. And you know, everything here is all symbols and it is incredible. We're actually gonna head over to the kit that is set up over here. And we're gonna check out some of the symbols that are on this side of the booth here. Hey, there's David. Good, how are you, David? Great to see you today. Nice to see you. How's everything going? You enjoying the show? We are. And how about yourself? It's day three. I'm still standing up. That's, that's exactly right, right? Excellent. So, David, is there uh, new things in Istanbul that we would like to uh, highlight today? Yes, we have a couple of things. Let's start here. Uh, Mr. Mehmet has added a couple more pieces to his Tony Williams line. Uh, he's added a second... 22 inch ride. It's a little heavier than the original. It's a little pingier, but it's still got some fun low end stuff. And this is reminiscent of what Tony was using in the late 60s and early 70s. So we added that ride. We also added, I've got behind you here, uh, a nice compliment uh, crash to this, a 16 inch crash. And it's absolutely gorgeous. <clears throat> Could we hear it, please? Yeah, you want a little hit? Great. And then we also added, uh, the original release was 14-inch hi-hats. He's added some 15s, which are really fun, too. The, the young guys are going to love these. They're very popular. Really nice. And let me, I know you guys are busy. Let me show you over here. And we'll head over here, and now we've got, you know what? Could we hear your this this uh, ride? Yeah. That's nice. It's got a little more top end and yeah. ping and definition, but it still has some of the unique undertones that a Turkish symbol does. And you can actually really hear that, the still hear the undertones. Yes, yes. So yeah. it's a beautiful symbol. I can't wait to try it and see what. <laughs> we also have a classic 70s line. This is reminiscent of the great classic rock symbols of the 70s, kind of a tribute to that. And they're just great. But just a very clean great for rock drumming actually anything so big band or anything right. a good versatile symbol right yes yeah. couple more all right this is a crystal ride i, I don't know where it, it how we came up with this but it's really cool it's really good for a coffee house setup where you want to take one symbol and uh it's very different isn't it it's bright but if you're in a very small situation yeah. that has to be very low volume, you just need one one simple set of hatch to go. And, it, and yet it really speaks very quickly, so it, it, it it's uh it's it's still got a lot of oomph to it. Yes, and again, I have no idea how he came up with this, but it's <laughs> idea. It is a great idea. One more thing. He came up with a bossa ride, and this has a Lathe bottom and a hand hammered unfinished top. Wow. And it has an interesting effect. It takes out some of the wash. Typically, with hand hammered unlaced symbols, there's quite a bit of wash. Some guys love it, some guys aren't so fond of it. But this is great. It still has the the feel and the kind of funkiness of a yeah. hammered cymbal, but the lathing on the bottom calms it down. So I can't play a really fast boss, but if you were to play a really fast boss and over rhythm on this, you'd hear every note. Right. And, that, and I like how you can hear some of the wash, but like you said, it sort of takes off kind of the edge of it. It's still there, yeah, because a lot of time with the unlaced cymbals, 
they sound killer right where you are, but you get out in front, you're not hearing. Right. You know, and so that that addresses that. So he did he did great this year. He came up with all kinds of stuff. I, I gotta say, you're right. This these three different uh, lines are are all versatile, all different, but they're all incredible line uh, additions to your lineup. Yes. Yes. Great to chat with you today. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate it. You're welcome. NAM 2020, Amy Danino, Drum Talk TV.